So today I'm going to put my logo, which I routered out on this bit of wood, as a template. Today I'm going to transfer my logo onto my arms or onto an arm of wood, which will be a working hunter jump wing. So it's one and a half meter high wing. Uh, both sides are going to be the same height. I'm going to have some 600 mil pieces along one of the bottom, then one halfway up and a third of the way up. And I've got some half round poles to put on the front, which will match the fillers, which are just here. And sand down the area that I'm going to router. Okay. Another sand later on, this is just a, a sand so there's no bumps for the template to sit nice and flat on. I don't need to worry too much about the finish of the wood because it's going to get two coats of Ron Seal dark oak stain to match it again, to match the fillers. So all the blemishes and the packing marks will just disappear. So the first thing we need to do is just make sure these are absolutely symmetrical. The height of the feet is 145. You definitely don't want the words or the back plate clashing with the lettering or the template. So 145, so the feet is going to be about there. So we'll just mark that off so we don't forget. And then the template can go anywhere above that. I like it to be quite discreet, even though it is quite big lettering, I like it to be discreet, so I always put my, my lettering at the bottom. So I'm going to go in at 160. This is a couple of centimetres above the foot line. Very nice, so now we've got our bottom line. Uh, all I need to do now is line up my template. Clamp, grab the table too. This is a Aldi router, a FedEx. Uh, I've put the collar on for the template, so that template will run round the inside of my lettering and it'll just cut out a depth of wood from the wing piece. I know exactly how much it'll cut out by putting my So always, 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 when you're working with any pressure treated wood, wear a mask. And I also have goggles. <laughs> now we're ready. That looks okay. Now all I have to do is get a soft bit of sandpaper. I can need a new bit of sandpaper. Just to edge, get rid of the ruffles. Just to know, hold on to your router Oops. before it stop, before the motor stops moving. Because the worst thing you could do, you can't put it down here. I don't like laying it on its side, so you automatically want to just 
put it where it's going to be secure. However, this fan is still running. And all you're doing when you're putting it down in the dust is letting it suck in all that dust. So I don't think that's very good for it. So just hold on to it until it stops moving completely and then put it to the side. Right, let's have a look. So that's it done because it is homemade and the template is starting to fail. I will have to do a new one. I would love to buy one of the trend plastic layout templates. They look amazing. But 70 quid and I put I can't just get it by the letters, I need the number as well, so it's even more expensive. But hey ho, you do what you can and if you make stuff from scratch, you can always uh, make mend and do. But once that is stained up and on the wing and it's at the back and you're a foot away, you are never going to notice any small imperfections. You're just going to see the letters for what Hello they're... again. So it's a couple of days later. I've got all the elements of the working hunter jump double stained, although it's a, a one coat stain, I always like to give it two just to get that really rich dark oak colour. And here is the stained routering that I've done on the fence. Very pleased with it, looks good. All the bits I've missed, they're on purpose, that's so the glue, when I fit the fence together, the glue can properly adhere to the, the wood itself, because I'm pretty sure that the wood stain would create a barrier because we want it to be really secure and to last forever. So there we go, I will do another quick update when it's been assembled. So here we are, here's the finished pair of wings. Not 100% finished, I still have to put the feet on, and the feet are here, and they still need their second coat of Ron Seal undercoat. Get that nice rich golden brown colour. So I've got 18 feet to fit <laughs> tomorrow probably because um, I've got another four pair of wings sitting ready to be assembled. So we'll have a look at the back side of the So here we are, it's a couple of days later again, and I have got all the working hunter fences finished and all displayed in the school. Very pleased with everything. I think it looks fab. This fence, you'll be able to slot in some branches or scrub, whatever. 2.4 meter wide hanging gate and pole, matching wings, rustic, rustic with wood stain. Here is the fence that I've been using to work with over the past couple of days to show you how I put my logo or my lettering for my business name on the back. And we'll just have a look at that right now. <laughs> so here we go. deeper etched in this one on the rustic with the wood stained one it's a three meter length pole and plank i've left the lettering blonde to match the infills and here come the dogs too come on mummy hurry up and play i'm coming i'm coming come on. so all in all very very pleased with everything i think it looks fab well, thank you very much for watching and looking at how I put my lettering using a router on the back of my show jumps. If you like what you see, please go to my Facebook page, Horses for Courses Show Jumps. I'll leave a link in the description. And if you are interested to see what else I can do, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.